Hey, it's Tommy from Wax. We're meeting with uh, Mike Rubinelli. We are going to run through, run you through really quick the uh, PVP section of Blockchain Brawlers. So to start off, you will um, end up with the zip file. Um, you'll go ahead and right-click this zip file. Um, go right down here to Properties. Note this is the Windows version. Um, if you have the Mac version, you can do the same thing with your Mac, um, the way you would do it on Mac. Um, and here under um, Security, you want to go ahead and click Unblock, Apply, so you don't have any uh, problems unzipping. Oh, okay, so from there, you're going to right click or, or oh, you're going to unzip your file. Extract to, choose a folder, boom. And there you go. Open up that file, and what you'll be doing is clicking on the blockchain brawlers. Double click that. You may see this pop up from the Windows firewall, just warning you, hey, some of this is here. Go ahead and click allow access and you should be good to go. And then here we are, blockchain brawlers. And that's for Windows 10, Windows 11, I think you can just unclick. You can uh, right click and choose extract all, right? And it'll give you the destination to unload it. You have to do all the other crazy stuff. So depending on your uh, cool. uh, you're running. Yeah, but great, okay, you're there, yeah. okay. All right, so now no, now what we're gonna be expecting seeing tomorrow is you're going to be clicking to generate a code. It's not shown in this version. But you're gonna get a quick match code. You're gonna be getting an option to host or join. If you're hosting, you'll get a match code. You can post that in the beta matchmaking channel we have set up in the Discord um, to find your opponent. And as, you'll just grab a code, throw it in the paste code, and then you'll be matched up with someone. But on this version, I'm just going to uh, really quickly just show you what we got here. So here's my... And I think, profile the, page. I think the button will be called get host code, something like that, super obvious for people. So, uh, and then if you'll want, you can go, if you want to, you can go to the uh, Discord matchmaking channel and you can post what your code is. And players yep. that you like or that you hate or that you love can, you know, take your code. You guys can play head to head that way. Exactly. What All right, cool. So, what if you want to change your name though, Tommy? I'm sorry, I was interrupting That's you. That's right. You got it. So, here we're in the profile screen. So, if you go over here to your profile, you can actually edit some parts of your profile. You'll see your name um, right here. There should be, click right here on the edit profile button and you'll see a pencil here. You can change your name. Just click on the pencil, change what you want it to be. Tommy the Wax from Wax. You can choose your avatar. I like this one right now because my boy Scotty is not showing up yet, but he'll be added later. Don't worry all you Scotty fans. And then once we're good here, down here in the bottom left, save your profile. And it'll here's actually, your stats. It'll actually import your PFP, I believe, at some point. Mm -hmm. so whatever you have set up as your yes. PFP uh, in-game, uh, it'll go ahead and bring that forward. So yes. Very cool. All right, so then here's like the mock of the leaderboard. Um, you'll notice that when you um, your name is changed up here, you got your rank here. This is all beta, so this will change when it goes live. So don't think you're going to be the king of beta and then start up at the top of the yellow boards. So Yeah, to be clear, we're not <laughs> tracking any stats. Wins, loss, right. none of that, I do not believe. All your feedback, please share with us in the Discord. Okay. Good, so, bad, good, bad, and indifferent. Exactly. Yeah, we want to hear it all. So here we are. We're going to brawl. So what I'm going to do, normally, like I said before, you'll get your code or you'll make a code and input it. Um, right now, Mike and I are just going to brawl. So I'm going to go to brawl. I'm going to choose brawl on tier 100 and confirm. And then we'll have a timeout. In just a few moments, I should be able to meet with Mike. And yeah. battle, and, and it says brawl entry one hundred. I think the final closed beta version will say brawl room one or room two. Mm -hmm. Exhibition match will probably say bot arena where you play bots, kind of you play versus AI. It's not very smart, but you'll yeah. enter the room. You'll confirm. Now I've just entered. It's going to take a couple seconds. It's going to. I'm reconfirming. Oh, okay. It's yeah, I, I wanted to show off that uh, bot channel. <laughs> ah, got it. Okay, it should find us. There, there we, we are. are. Boom. Okay. Ta-da, yay. Playing with the unknown warrior here. I love it when software works. <laughs> this is an introduction that we should probably edit out, Tommy, because it's not going to be in the closed beta. Probably, yep, absolutely. Like music we don't have the rights to. Little Foo Fighters. Yeah. All my life I've been looking for something, something. That... Some, some Colt tracks. We maybe throw some, some Colt's new bangers off here. Um, probably some Yoshi drops at some point, ah, right? Very good, yes. All right, so then here's your screen. Let me see your cards are down here. You've got your health, power meter up here on the right. Um, emote, let me add a little bit later. Um, view your record of the match. This is like a, a running uh, like a console. Exactly, just to let you know, like, hey, this happened, this happened. All right, over here we have the setup and we have the slam. 
What does the setup card do, Tommy? So the setup card is your front card. That's just card that you're facing. You're showing off this card. Okay. When you are trying to maybe trick an opponent, you want to try and psych them out, this is the card that they'll see um, right before they do the, the uh, betting. Okay, and then the, the, slam wagering. Card. the slam card is face down. Slam card is face down. Yeah, that's the one that they're not going to see. So, so I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, go the face card conveys a certain amount of information. It, it, it presents something to the for your opponent to contemplate if they're trying to read you or read what you have relative to what they have. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, that's good to know. Cool. All right, so I'm going to choose my first card. I think uh, you know, maybe I'll start off with uh, the first one you click is going to be your setup card um, while you're playing this. And if you click the wrong one. Uh, now, what if you want to cycle, cycle them out? There you go. Okay, just click. Yeah, you just click them again and it'll switch them up. Yep. That's 7 7 is like the third best hand of the game. You sure you don't want to play a 7 7? Uh, not yet. I think when I want to roll out, I want to maybe maybe test the waters. I haven't played you yet, Mike. So I'll roll. Start with my five. Okay. One, so now to be clear, the best hand you can have is sixteen because the cards are one mm -hmm. through eight. Yeah. So twelve out of sixteen is a, it's not a great hand, but it's a really good hand. So yeah, it's more than half. Right. It's more. So than now half. that I've selected these, I'm going to click confirm. Okay. And I will click confirm yeah. as well. And now I can see my opponent's up card is all is a seven. So looking at that up card, am I going to beat a seven with my 12? There's a chance. If there's a four or lower here, mm -hmm. or if they flex. Mm -hmm. um, flexing is when you have when your hidden card is lower than your face-up card. And right. last time we played this, I kept messing that up. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. here's... Yeah, if they're both the same, it's not a flex. But if that was a, if you were holding a 5-4, that'd be a flex. Or if I'm playing a 7-6 all the way down to a 7-1, that's considered a flex. You flex, it's like a bluff. It does way more damage. Yeah. Uh, but any flex that gets called by a non-flex hand is an automatic loss for the flexor. It does not matter if you're flexing with an 8-1, that's 9 points. But I play a 1-1, one, one, I have 2, my 2 will beat your 9 because a non-flex hand beats a flex hand every single time, no matter what. Perfect. And then one second, I'm going to edit this out. I just want to double check. Is this still working? Good. Okay. No problems there. All right, so we can yeah. edit that out. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so... Now we're in the betting the betting stage. And the betting phase happens right here, right below your, your uh, health bar. One, two, three, and fold. What's folding do, Mike? Folding's really, really helpful. If you if you want to fold because you think you cannot win, uh, what will happen on the next round is you'll draw one extra card every single time you fold, which is a really kind of strategic thing, up to six cards. And once you get six cards in your hand, you can't acquire any more cards. But if you fold while holding six cards, you actually can discard you know, one or all or some of your cards that you have. So folding strategically is really important. The other really cool thing to remember about folding is it preserves your power meter. So if you get a power meter, every time you win a hand, your power meter goes up by one point. But if you fold, your power meter doesn't go down. But if you lose a hand when you play heads up, your power meter will reset to the very, very beginning. So folding at the right time is a really important and strategic kind of pro move. Perfect. All right. Well, I see your seven and I've got a 12. I'm not so confident about my odds so i think i will fold this first round and yeah. confirm it okay Ooh. all right so what we're seeing here is just a quick little visual bug this that one that popped up was actually his his hidden card so you no, were flexing it, on it. It actually it's not my hidden card tommy sorry it's, it's your slam card it's the only card i didn't play from my hand i actually had a seven eight i, oh, wanted, you, I, see. I wanted you to play your two sevens because i saw you had two sevens uh, you to play them so I could bust you really bad on the first hand. <laughs> okay. I had 15. I thought you were going to play a 14. I was going to gloat, but it didn't happen. All right, well, I only took one bit of damage with my foot. I promise not to look at your cards anymore. We're, this okay. is unfair because we're on live stream. So I see That's Tommy. Right. Along we are, my, I am video sharing so we can get this um, um, shared <laughs> with all of you. So it's all right. You can, you can tease me a little bit. We'll have some rematches later. Don't worry. Good. Okay. I like that. All right, so now notice that I did fold, but now I have four cards to choose from down here. Notice I kept the one card in my hand, and I've got four more to pick. So now if I really, you know, on top of that, over here on the left, you see Mike's power score has gone up by one because he won. He won the match. So now mm -hmm. when he does damage, he'll do more damage with the multiplier. Yeah, because so damage, damage is your power meter. If you win a hand, it's your power meter times the amount you bet if it gets to a showdown. And a showdown is when both players agree on what the bet amount is. If there's a fold, I only do the damage of my power meter. But it's good to always make sure your power meter is increasing. Yeah, it's um, definitely an easy way if you uh, get it up to six and bet a three and win. That's 18 points of damage, which is almost all of your opponent. So, 
Yeah. So let's uh, let's see. So let me. Uh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Two... I promise not to look. All right. Don't look. I'll have to figure out my cards. All right. And I think you'll notice here, if you saw on my screen, I am flexing. So I've got the flexing right here above it. Ooh, dun, so dun, now dun. we vote, right? So let's see. He's got a one showing. I'm pretty confident no matter what. You know, the highest thing he could have is a nine. I'm right. playing a five. But if I'm flexing, even if he has a two, I'm going to lose because I'm flexing. Unless he's flexing. Right. right. So, so let's just go for it. Let me do, I'll do a better one. You know, I'll do a better two. I'm confident here. There you go. There you go. Oh, good smart play. I was I was getting rid of my trash, Tommy, and that was a smart play by you. All right. I like to fold early. That's something that I tend to do a little bit more often than not. Tommy, I that. he flexed opportunistically. You see, I I'm now at four cards, but my power meter was preserved at two. But Tommy now also has two cards or four cards. His power meter is at two. But now Tommy's done more damage, so he's got more health than I do. He's got the same number of draw cards. Our power meters are the same. So after round two, we're pretty even. But it was that was that was a good exchange right there. All right, let's see if I can get you this time. I don't know what's in the coat. It likes to give me really crappy cards. I don't know why. Um, Speaking of these cards, these are thirty-two cards that we share. Right? There's four of each number in the deck. Right. And we're pulling from the same deck. So keep that in mind if you're. Uh, if you're good at counting cards, you might be able to have a little advantage. It gives you a little bit of information. So if you're sitting on seven, three sevens, and you play two of them, the chance of your opponent, your opponent plays one seven, the chance he has another seven to tie you is probably really, really low. So keep in mind what is what is, what the quote-unquote outs are, so to speak. And right. the, the, the remaining cards in the deck reshuffle every time, but your cards stay the same. But like Tommy said, it's a cap of four per card number. Right. So there's in every deck, there's four eights, four sevens, et cetera, all the way back down to one. Oh, so yeah. I see you've got a one. Um, yeah. I'm pretty confident that this is going to crush a one. So I'm going to go hard and try to bet a three. Right. I like seeing you waste your power cards early when your power meter is low. <laughs> yes. Like 15 when your power meter is at two. I'll take that every time. <laughs> okay. I have confirmed my folding. You. When I live to fight another day, I preserve my power meter, but my cards go from four to five now. All right, I've only got four, and but my power meter goes up. And then if I want to record what was going on, oh, Mike, you're cutting out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Look at the look at the console and see what it what it yeah. says. Yeah, I was going to show it off. So like here's, and then here we're keeping track of what's been going on during every um every round, right? So it's going to get all cleaned up. Damage. Right? Yeah, this is like I said, this is beta. <laughs> This is very much work in, work in progress. So, all right, cool. So now I've got now, like you said, I've got trash. I've got nothing but trash now. So, let's see how this goes. I'm not too confident in my chances here. Um, I'll bet I'll wager one. Maybe you've got trash too. I do. I do have trash. Um, and I am. Hmm. I'm looking to get out of the trash business. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm absolutely looking to get out of the trash business. So I will take my beating like a man. <laughs> now my cards are at six. I feel much better. My power meter's still at two. You've got a little bit more of a health advantage on me, which kind of bumps me up. But I really like how I'm setting up now for the mid game. Oh, yeah. So we'll see how this goes moving forward. Right. So if and it's like now that the power meters are up more, if I wanted to fold additionally to get a, get more cards... I, it's not going to be as advantageous for me because right. the power the power met the uh, power meters we'll are exactly. increasing. Yeah, almost right. at power rangers. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's exactly. go with these two. Don't want to flex. Now you saw my cards show up before Tommy actually confirmed his cards in the closed beta. No cards will be visible till both players have absolutely confirmed what cards they want to play. So it's just a timing issue we're working on fixing. Yeah, so right now, like, a six, you know, there's a good chance, like, if he's got a three, we're going to push, but a four or better is going to beat me. So I think I'll just wager one. I don't want to see and just see kind of how you do. Let me, yeah. let me do my wager. Yeah, and I'm not too sure. I've got, I've got a six showing, but he's got a four, and I know that there are cards in his hand that could beat me. So I'm only going to go with a two bet. I'm not super confident. I don't want to take a ton of damage if he wins because three times four would be 12 points. But I can stomach eight points of damage, so I bet a two. So his two times four I can weather. 
but three times four would be my undoing and I would lose. So yeah, I'm going to just out. wait in at a two and see if he takes the bait, see if he, yep. see if he does. And then so now what I've got is because I only bet one and Mike bet two, I can now call him on his two. In the later versions, Mike, you said that the at this point we will have the option to fold. Is that correct? That is correct. In a later version. Okay, cool. All right. So let me call. Hopefully in the closed beta version. In the version oh, yeah. the right, players, we are we're, we're getting lots of versions quickly here. <laughs> yeah, there are three bets that are made in every single round. One is your bet, one is your opponent's bet, and then whoever, if they not if they're not matched then there's one more chance to call. So you either match or you fold, and that's it. It's literally three bets. It's pretty simple. All right, cool. All right, so let's conf I'll confirm. Calling you had an eight, or you had the, it's like you crunched me for sure. And look, now well, that I lost, yeah. my power score is one. Yeah, I played a pair of sixes. I had a 12. Yeah. And that it's not pretty good you weren't sitting on an eight. <laughs> yeah, because I played them all. I may happen to have a lot of eights in my hand. Again, I used a card counting to my advantage. I'm sitting on a bunch of eights. I'm like, does he have four eight? Probably not. I know I can beat a four seven. Yeah. All right. So let's let's go again here. I um let's go again. And your power meter's down at one. Now I'm not so one. afraid of of being more aggressive with my bets. Exactly. Because even if I bet three, the most like damage I can do is is three right now in the close right. beta. So let's uh let's just go. I'm get some of my trash. I'm not gonna lie. Like at this point, so let's. I'm not sure what you're betting. I don't think I'm gonna bet i need an, i need more cards i don't have enough options so i'm going to fold this hand and see if i can take my beating how bad of a beating i'm going to take not too bad it'll be four points if you fold right okay right because it's just a straight power meter no application no multiplication by the right. bet. that's right now, now in the in the closed beta the your health amount will actually be shown it won't be just tick marks it'll say like i think i'm at 13 i think you're at 12. right exactly and now you have we're in the mid game so remember in the beginning um, in the earlier round, this is up here in the top. It's just going to say round two. We're going to fix that. But in the earlier round, I had the advantage with an extra power meter and the same amount of cards. But now you have one more card than me, and your power meter is much higher. So right. if I want to get six cards to match up to have as many options as you, right. I've right. got to take my licking again. And I don't know if I can do that with the yeah, good luck. Because four if you will keep kill me. Right. My power meter go five, six, seven. You can't fold your way to a six. Eight. Like you've got to get. You got to bring a little bit of the heat here, son. <laughs> well, let's see how much heat I can bring. Here's okay. the, the hottest, the hottest I got. And let me just go for broke. I'm gonna wager three. Maybe I can bluff you. Maybe I can scare you off. Oh, uh, looks like no. <laughs> that, that three bet times my five power meter. I did 15 points of damage. You only had 13 points of health, so therefore I won. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what happens if we tie, Tommy? Do you know? Okay, if it is a show off and we tie, right? I, if I remember, the power scores stay the same, and we do damage to each other? Close. The power meters both reset to one. That's right. They both reset. We do do full damage. That's right. But it's like this global reset, but we both do whatever damage we're supposed to do to each other. Right. And then one thing that we I don't think we necessarily cover is like when you flex, if the other opponent does not flex you're, and calls you, you're going to lose. Right. If both of you flex... The higher number will win the flex off. It's the exact it's the exact same rules of the higher number wins. Right. What's really interesting is that the flexing damage on a winning hand is insane. So if a flexing hand beats another flexing hand and it takes the power, because what typically happens with a flex is that you just get your multiplier and that's it. You don't get the power meter, you don't get any, you just get the the multiplier plus one. So if you both flex, though, it's multiplier plus one times power meter. It's like, it's insanity. You rarely see flex on flex violence. But it's a All right. I'm flex. sure we're going to see it because I know that this community loves to flex. And they're always jamming on each other. So I know we'll see some of this. Yeah, I'm excited. They, yeah, they do. It's going to be great. Very cool. So remember, this is uh, uh, going to be our closed beta. Um, everything is, and we got fixes coming through very rapidly um, and updates so that we can be um, accelerating towards the full game. Yeah, and we have a, a really lengthy blog post explaining the rules. We also have a pinned post in uh, the Discord, Discord channel on uh, the closed beta in terms of what are the kind of the cheat sheet of like, oh, have to have a higher value here, have to do this, have to do that. It's real da 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 kind of things. But, you know, look, play the game two to three times. It's really uh, quick to pick up, but the strategy takes a little bit of a, a, a bit of about a minute and you'll... Uh, You'll pick up on it really quickly, and we I hope to see you uh, in the in the brawl. See him uh, throwing throwing down with Tommy and myself. Absolutely, and then just to um, remind me, um, our uh, closed beta participants will be 
doing getting a Steam code to download the app, the uh, client? We will be emailing those that we have email addresses for. We'll be emailing them a Steam key, a, a, their own personal Steam key to go in and enter it into. What you'll do is you'll make sure that you have the, st the Steam app downloaded. Uh, you'll go to library, not to store. Mm -hmm. You will search on blockchain brawlers, and then it will prompt you to enter your key. It will vet that key, and then you'll be allowed to download the client. And you have a Mac or a PC client to download. And the I think we support at least. I know we support at least Windows 10. I think it goes a little bit lower than that. And on the so Windows, on the Mac side, it's Big Sur, Big Sur 11.4 and higher, which is like eight years old from an OS standpoint. So you should be well covered in that regard. Uh, and you can play Mac versus PC. So it, you, it's cross it's cross platform. So uh, you know we hope to see you there. We hope you like it. And uh, as always, feel free to share your feedback with us. Yeah, absolutely. Please share all your feedback um, in those channels we've got set up for you. We're looking, we're excited for this. I hope you're excited too. Um, can't wait to get get everybody in here and play. And LFB, right. baby. Yes, let's freaking brawl. Thank you, Mike, for um, taking the time um, to meet with me today and do this quick video. And I will see you and I'll see you in uh, the armbar. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Thank you. All right, take care. Cheers. Cheers.